Their celebration make not only a significant academic milestone, but also a powerful demonstration of what international collaboration can accomplish. SA 102.0 stand as a model of multi-stakeholder synergy led by the World Bank, funded by the Australian Government Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, and implemented through the dedication of a global alliance of partners. Programs like this hosted by UNO Center at the Asian Institute of Technology are not just milestones in individual careers, they are building blocks in reshaping entire systems. You, the graduates of this program, represent a new generation of leaders. Leaders who are technically capable, socially conscious and globally connected. really nice that we're starting to see opportunities where we can start to connect those as well. I know this program here is very focused on the geography which you're all very familiar with. The world is your oyster. You've all got to the point where you're now leaders within your own countries and the sectors within your own countries. This program is connecting you to those peers and those future leaders in your neighbouring countries but the way we see this, Australia and I'm sure many of the other partners that I've talked about here, these are entry points for you to be connected globally. So I want you to really start thinking about what you're doing and the position you've got yourself into as a, a, a global leadership role. There is, you are part of a very big and growing network, particularly for women moving into the energy sector. As we talked about today, it's desperately underrepresented and that is an underrepresentation across the globe. So you are all part of that global cohort that's really changing the face of this sector globally. As the SAR program expands, we are hoping that uh, uh, the national chapters will become much more vibrant and much more uh, instrumental in delivering these programs. There are country strengths, there are infrastructure strengths that we have across in various countries, resource people, projects, so much going on that we can create a, an intermeshed knowledge infrastructure built around WePower. It's because the leadership forums of tomorrow need less conflict, more bonding, more common interests, and more shared success than we have today. The energy transition also throws open the largest opportunity for women to become part of the energy sector. This is my commitment. I will do what I can do, when I can do it, to encourage my fellow males, yes, to embrace your contribution to ensure that the female influence in this industry continues unabated and will be transformational over the coming years. This program didn't just teach us skills, it gave us a vision and connected us across borders. We leave this place more hopeful, more prepared and more committed to serving our country and this region. The team Bhutan now written home with three commitments, scaling up, implementing SAR 2.0 insights into our energy policy, then paving it forward, mentoring the next generation of female leaders. Uh, strengthening ties, advocating for a unified South Asia energy. As we move forward, we carry with us not just knowledge, but a network, a vision, and a shared commitment to a more sustainable, secure, and inclusive energy future for South Asia. This program reminded me that energy transition isn't just about grids and generators. It's about people. 
When only one group is at the table, solutions stay narrow. When women are included, we widen the lens, we bring new perspectives and ask different questions and help design systems that work better for everyone. Let us become the role models we once look for. Let us be the spark that lights the way for many more to come. We return not just with the knowledge, but with more energy, more connections, and with many ideas. Uh, so it is now our responsibility that how we will apply this knowledge into our fields uh, to lead with integrity and to support inclusive and sustainable progress in our energy sector. Let us lead by example, showing that a sustainable, inclusive energy future is not just possible, it is already beginning. So let us raise our voices and extend hands to be the change, paving the way for future women to join our sector where they are equally accepted, supported and empowered to contribute to a more sustainable future. <music>